Foot. And Town and City being the decided stage for the first game of Losers Finals between Mr. E and Kofi. You know, this stage can benefit both characters. Fox being allowed to kill very early off of the top. His up smash and up airs being a good factor to that. And Cloud has a very good kill <laughs> as well. The smaller side blast zone is going to be assisting in that. You know, another factor of uh, Town and City that I feel benefits, specifically Mr. E, is when the stage enters this particular transition phase. Oh, that was a great catch on the Fox Illusion, being able to take the stock with that limit cross flash. And it looks like Mr. E never stops pressing buttons, but everything has a purpose with this man. The way that he's looking to pressure out his opponent and just constantly build it back up, keep the momentum deep in his favor. Great empty hop from Mr. E being able to catch that Salatage and grab it. A lot of this more passive movement we've seen from Mr. E uh, as of recent has, I felt, had a huge hand into how his play has been looking a lot more confident and a lot more uh, intelligent as well as aggressive. We've seen a lot more empty hops. He goes for a lot of cross-ups that normally we wouldn't see. He's integrated a lot more perfect pivot into his play. All in all, a lot of factors that would definitely set fear into opponents, but right now, not Kofi. But we did take that stock rather late, late though. Uh, Cloud dying around 133. But uh, Kofi with a great tech on that downer spike. I think at 133, Kofi's got a hell of a hill to climb right now. But that's uh, not fair. We'll take it. First game going to the three. Unfortunate decision making from Kofi. Diving in a little too deep when he really shouldn't have. But this is a best three of five, so Kofi does have plenty of time to adapt. Change characters if he needs. Figure out what he needs to do to uh, turn back the tide. Well, if he's going to do zero suit. Looks like right. he's going to Dreamland, and there it is. Makes sense, considering that Kofi has such a a breadth of characters that he could pick from. He can take advantage of any type of situation where stage is uh, banned, and wherever his counter pick may lie. Very true. And Zerasu being a severely underrepresented character here on Long Island, uh, it's not often that we get to see one. That is very true. So at least Zerasu is rather passive, but the explosiveness in the punish game is what's going to keep him very into this match. Don't be doing well to keep the damage tacked on, but Mystery is really keeping it up. Constant nares and uppers, allowing these triplats to be firmly in his control. So he gets himself back on stage, and a forward tilt allows him a little bit more breathing room. However, Gentleman's from Mr. E keeps him alive. It's going to be a bit of an oddball option, though, from Kofi. That was a good down smash, though. That could be the stock, and it will wow. be. Wow. Good call on that one. Kofi managing to finally respond to all of this uh, button pressing that Mystery is doing. Now, what we are looking at is Rage Zero Suit on Dreamland. At this percent, one grab could be stuck, but that will be it. Down smash, reading the neutral got up and allowing him to get the flip kick for the stop. I Kofi's back in it. But a very convincing game too at that. You think we're gonna be seeing the zero suit stick around? Um, I think it will be dependent on the stage that uh, Mr. E chooses. But I think zero suit is staying. So I might have been wrong. And it seems that Smash, smash on, he is staying Zero Suit. All right, well, this is another stage that we've seen Zero Suits time and time again uh, excel on. However, this is also a stage that Cloud can put in plenty of damage. This stage can be good for Zero Suit. The platform can extend her ladder combos and help her get the kills, although it is not as good as a stage like Triplats, which allows her to combo a lot harder. On top of that, I feel that 
uh, Cloud could take more control of the uh, rotating platform a lot easier than Zero Suit. That is very true. Because when the Zero Suit lands a grab, the platform might not be there, which you might deny it, but this will be an uppy, but Cloud will fall out, and that will not be the stock. Very close, though, and... That down smash, though, was extremely good by Kofi, getting the stock off of it. Excellent decision-making. He noticed that it was just a little too far to go for the flip kick. So he just wanted the quick and firm into upbeat and... That was almost MSD because he narrowed off stage. Which I'm assuming was a miss in play. Yeah, he went super deep on that. I, I was kind of shook, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Kobe playing very safe now. Allowing this really just press buttons while he saved a safe distance away from Cloud. I like this approach though from Kofi. It's allowing him to build up a little bit more momentum, keep Mystery from having any situations where he could just rob the stock away. Oh, then Indra's gonna use the side B. But it seems to have worked in his favor, and that up smash is very smart, catching Mystery's aggressive landing. That was a great cross slash, catching the nair that Kofi used behind Mystery. And we've seen that Kofi already putting on a lot of uh, damage during that first stock. Uh, things looking a bit grim for Mr. E here in game three. That forward air not fully connecting. A bit of an unorthodox recovery for Mr. E, but ended up working. Kofi not able to punish the wall jump. That Kofi loving his air dodge back air. It's if he loses his game now, it could all be because of that one miss input. Or miss button. Luckily enough though, Kofi doing fantastic and staying evasive for Mr. E. Not respecting any of the pressure that E is throwing out, sitting at 29% and moving all over this man. That is a great up out of shield and that will take the stock. Alright, Kofi sitting up 2-1 over Mr. E. And this year is looking fresh. Unless Mystery is dedicating himself solo to Cloud, I feel we will see a switch off of Cloud after this. Yeah, yeah. considering that this is bracket life on the line. Uh, I don't think we've already... Oh, no, hold up yeah, now. Okay. <laughs> there we go. There is the Lucina. The switch coming through from Mystery. So I think it's definitely a testament to Kofi's skill to uh, be able to force E off the Cloud pick. So we'll see if the signature Lucina is able to bring us to a game five or if Kofi can end it out right here on Smashville. Right here. Good up he had a shield, although it seems to have worked, but that was an option that was rather questionable. Because the mystery did shoot that, that could have been a very big punish. Mystery taking a very dominant start to this game four. Not allowing Kobe to land, and that is the boost kick for you. That, that move just sometimes does not work like you want it to. Yeah, contrary to popular belief, there is actually no SDI modifier on the rest of its hits. It's all about how you DI that first hit. But right now, it does not look like Mystery needs to worry about escaping. It's Kofi's the one who's got to get out of Mr. E's grasp. It's fantastic movement for Mr. E, and a non-stop assault has kept this game four firmly in his favor. Mr. E have a massive lead. Getting close to already laughing Kofi. Paralyzer bolt in with dash attack just to see if he can alleviate some of the pressure, but it's not looking like anything's working out for Kofi. He's got a down smash charge, and that might have been a missed input there. I don't know what this man's doing. He's actually pressing all the buttons. All the buttons have been pressed. This lead extremely dominant for Mystery. Not allowing Kofi to land or get any sort of strong hit, but that flip kick allowing Kofi to get back stage control for as short of time as it was. Trying to hang around the Legend platform and now Kofi taking a bit of the uh, rotating platform into his control. You know, most notably here in Game 4, Mr. E did not move away from that platform, using it constantly to help out 
his movement game and keep his options varied while keeping Kofi smothered. And because of that, we're going to be moving right into a game five. Now what I'm wondering is, if uh, if Mystery stays Lucina, will Kofi counterpick? Or will he save your suit? The game looked very dominant in Mystery's favor, so we could see a switch. We could see the return of the Fox or potentially any other character from Kofi's uh, basket of tricks. Who do you feel out of Kofi's plethora of characters could benefit him most in this situation? Um, I want to say Bale, but he does not play Bayonetta anymore, which is kind of a shame. He did say that he thinks that it has been making him worse, but Game & Watch? On Lilac. That is really interesting. All right. Although Game Watch's off smash can power through forward air because it just comes from above. All right. Well, Kofi definitely uh, he's writing the script as we go, so we'll see how well it works out for him. The Game Five Lilac Cruise pick is not often a pick that we see against Mr. E either, uh, especially considering that Martha Lucina can make effective use out of the uh, how sh uh, short the platforms are in comparison to the base platform. Very true. Kofi flubbing the punish on that up he had a shield from this three. Interesting use of down air. And that's what I was talking about. Forward air can be punished by up smash. Due to the fact that um, forward air comes from above and game watches the armor on that up smash allows him to go straight through that. Very unorthodox tool between utilizing how far the armor extends and also all of the tools that Kofi's using from Game & Watch. Kid, we often only see a uh, sort of grappler approach from Game & Watch players, but Kofi oh, looking to use... that was an interesting use of up air going underneath the stage. Every tool of the shed coming out for this match, and Kofi's going to need it if he's going to try to take this back. That back here almost dragging this three down and getting the stock, but that quick up the allowing him to get to the ledge. Now the encounter Kofi could have here is that if Mr. E uses moves that isn't like forward air where they come from above to hit into that game watch smash, he could have an issue killing him. He's out of two two percent, and this is what I'm talking about. When he goes for that last smash and Mr. E down tilt, it just hits him right out of it. And this lead is just stacking up quickly in Mr. E's favor. Kofi waiting patiently at the opposite end of the wing, trying to see if he can catch Mr. E, but to no avail. It's going to be a back air that almost killing, but not quite. Kofi staying alive at 96%. And up to almost taking it, but Kofi barely living. Good forward tilt, and that will be the stock. Now, game watch at 106. That is way beyond kill percent for this character, due to him being extremely light. But this is very doable. Game Watch has come. Game Watch has a decent amount of comeback potential. There's two two at a lower percent because of the rage and nine. But I doubt we will be seeing Hammer or Judgment coming out from Kofi. Yeah, as unorthodox of a player as Kofi is, he's not one to go for cheesy options such as Judge. Uh, of course, it's within the realm of possibilities. He has gone for shenanigans like that very rarely in the past, but. I have it down in my mind that Kofi knows what to do with the rage at this character's disposal if he even gives him a chance to utilize it. That will not be it. The fourth though, keeping Kofi back on team. Judge? All right. Judge rings in at eight, so it's- That will be the stock though, back here at 150. Taking the set in Mystery's favor, 3-2. Mystery moving on to Grant to have his run back against the Buzz, who is sending winner side. 